Namaskaram, Navaru Alexa, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Psycho Cyan video song from the Telugu film Saho, directed by Sujith and starring Prabhas and Shraddha Kapoor. The music is by Tanishk Bhakti, who also did the lyrics and is one of the singers alongside Sachet Tandon and Devani Banu Shali. I've been listening to the song on Spotify quite a bit lately, but I haven't watched the video in quite a while, so I thought, you know what, why not let's do a reaction to it? Figured it'd be fun. So without further ado, let's just jump right on in. That's so pretty. Okay, good. I was worried to say that Krako, like some versions of it, like on Prime, the song it says say on psych or Krako instead of Psycho, and it sounds so bad. <laughs> All the dancing is so like simple but so perfectly effective with the beats. So I personally really love this movie. I think it's wonderful, great. Um, I mean, I have a full review on it on the channel. It's one of my early reviews, so it's not as good as some of my newer ones. Um, because, you know, practice makes perfect, so slowly getting better at them, I feel like. Um, hopefully, at least. <laughs> um, we also have, Suri wrote a really cool article uh, about the plot twist in this movie, um, as well as comparing it with War, of course, because they were came out roughly the same time, big action movies, so compare them a little. Um, but uh, talking about the plot twist in this film was like the main discussion and how well it was executed. I think like a lot of people don't like this movie. The story though, like everything that happens, if you write down like the entire plot of it, is so perfectly crafted and it wasn't executed perfectly i'm gonna say that you know there were i mean this was the director's only second film so there's definitely a few things in there that if a more trained director had have done it i think it would have been more effective however if you just break it down to that story it's so smartly like crafted the way that it all flows together and every there's so many little pieces that then make sense like on a rewatch of the film. This is definitely a kind of film that I think you like more the second time, at least in my opinion. And I think a lot of people only watched it once because <laughs> they didn't like it. So then they didn't rewatch it so that they could appreciate all of the different things that it does to lead up to that ending. I talk about Saho too much though, so let's just talk about the song. I'll cut myself off. I've discussed it in too many videos, but I really like the movie. Um, and I'll continue like the movie. And it's fine if you don't like the movie, not everyone has to. Um, difference of opinions happen. <laughs> but I personally just really, really enjoy the film and think that it was, the story is incredibly, uh, 
in just incredible. I like the story a lot. <laughs> this song though is probably my favorite song from the movie, I'd say. Um, all the songs were a lot of fun and really ha like, had such great beats to them. They were definitely really good like commercial popular songs. Um, they're ones you can definitely play at a party, especially this one, you know, has that great dance beat to it. Um, and even the dancers, they only do like, pretty simple stuff just to the beat, which is, you know, enjoyable to watch. It's cool if you like watch it a few times, you probably memorize like Karabhasa's moves and stuff and be able to do that at a party or Shraddha's if you want. Um, <laughs> so hers was mostly a uh, body rolls and the movements, um, but you know, she did them well and she did them to the beat. And so no complaints. <laughs> and it suits the style of song that it is. You know, it is one of those like party, you know, at a bar club, like literal dance song. That's what's happening. I'm getting a bit, you know, drinking a few too many. Um, I always thought that was weird though, why she drank so much in this scene, because she is on duty and I understand she has like stuff going on, um, but she's still like on duty kind of, and it doesn't fully make sense to me why she would um, like drink that much and like allow herself to get that drunk. Um, so there are like a few small things like that in the film, definitely. But I think overall is really good. I don't really think it helped improve the plot either, her getting that drunk that night. Um, so I'm not really 100% positive why that was done. But I think that the song itself though, it just, I mean the beat's amazing. This video is really fun. It has good editing to the beat, fun upbeat dancing, bright colors, the sparkly dress, you know, and his like cool black outfit where he looks very suave, you know, um, <laughs> and just so it all works together to create a really fun song. It has a bit of fast paced editing in it, but I think that that suits the style of song and all the cuts are to the beat. And it's not like there's like so too much happening where it's disorienting, you know, like there's not a bunch of like complex dance moves happening. So I think those cuts are fine um, because it's not really taking you away from a performance at all because it is mostly just like simple steps and like sways and body rolls <laughs> for the woman. And so it's very uh, like simple and therefore those cuts don't really take away from like any sort of super complex dance move or anything, you know? No one's doing anything too insane where if you do a bunch of cuts, it makes it like not as engaging because you're like, what? I just want to see them do that cool move. Um, so I think that it does uh, lend itself well to this song. Because of course, there's a place for fast-paced editing. I said that. Every time I complain about fast-paced editing, I say there's a place for it in this kind of song. Uh, is the place for it. So I know that this uh, song and the whole movie got dubbed into a whole bunch of languages So there's like different versions of the song and stuff But one thing I found really weird was for this song um, instead of saying psycho in the chorus in the Telugu version on prime It says Krako and it really just doesn't flow with the song I think it's always like so abrupt and jarring because it literally like, all the words around it like rhyme with psycho And so they changed it to Krako, but it's such like a hard sounding word, you know the crack instead of psycho which kind of like flows better i feel like the way that the word sounds it is such a weird change to me and i don't know why it happened but i was is i really was annoyed by that whenever i rewatched the movie because i've like shown the movie to some people and stuff and i really enjoyed it and they enjoyed it too but then that song came and i'm like oh it's one of the best songs but that cracko is just so jarring i feel like it makes the song worse whenever it says cracko instead of psycho um I don't know why that change happened, but I, I'm not a fan. I'm happy that this version still says Psycho, um, because I um, made the version on Spotify, so that's that's relieving. <laughs> but it's just an interesting thing that I noticed and was like, why? Um, so worth mentioning. <laughs> but yeah, I like this song a lot. I like the movie a lot. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. I'll leave a link in the description to my Saho review and also the Saho plot twist article that Sri wrote, because I think it's a really good read and well-written, so I'd recommend it. Um, if you're interested, <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have to say about that Psycho Scion lyric video Thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to hit that like button subscribe And check out our patreon link in the description below. All right, hope you all are staying safe out there and have an absolutely amazing day Bye